Hello guys, what's up? It's Inflexius. Today we're playing Jax versus Yone Top. Alright, let's see if we can get ourselves a good trade on him here. He seems to be walking forward quite aggressively here. Bait out his Q. Just walk up to dodge his Q. And we got his bone plating, not bad. He's just aggressively shoving the wave here, so we need to try to almost match. Oh wow, he actually... Wow, I got creep blocked from getting a good, better either, but that's super sad, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, his E's on cooldown, so we can jump on him as soon as we can here. For a, a really solid trade. Now we do need to respect the Skarner, okay, we see him over there. Wow, that stun lasts forever. Or not, sorry, not that stun lasts forever, that freaking stun, like, go, the E travels forever, good cripes, dude. Oh, what is this? He's coming from here. He's going to go over the wall, though. Oh, he gets me. He flashes, though. I mean, that was pretty messy, I'm not going to lie, but... It works out. The wave is pushing towards us, so I'm just going to walk back to lane here. Yone has to TP, I don't. I'm going to lose some minions here as well, but I'm going to take that and call that fine. So Yone flashed there. I need to ping that and time a top F. Let's just let the wave push back towards us here. Yone is a level up, he has a big minion wave, so let's not mess with him. Just let it crash, he can... That's the thing, we have to let it crash here because he can just reset here, right? If we take a massive trade with him here, then he'll be able to reset, and then we need to play out the bounce back chunked out, right? Not ideal. Just farm out our minions, just chilling. He has a big fat XP lead on us because of that Skarner gank. So we're going to have to play around that now, which is, you know, not ideal. I can't really contest him, and that level lead on him, he has is really an issue. I can't, I don't feel like I can take a positive trade versus him because of that level lead. Okay, his E's on cooldown, our E's coming back up, so we can take a quick trade on him. When our E comes back here. Ah, uh, not when he has his Q3 up, though. Nah, that W. That W shield is crazy huge. Had to, back, had to sidestep his ultimate there, otherwise we are probably dead. Yone seems very overloaded. I feel like he's 
a little bit uh, wacky. He's a bit of a wacky champion. The thing is, I feel like he's pretty hard to deal with, or not hard to deal with, but I feel like he's a pretty strong champion. And that's me as a Jax player, right? I can't even imagine what a pl someone who doesn't play Jax, I can't even imagine what someone who doesn't play Jax, who, ha who doesn't have a two second auto attack community has to go through playing versus Yone, right? Like it sounds, it's just such a nightmare. Or no, it's not like I can't imagine it, right? I play I play other champions, right? And I can tell you it's not great. This champion just kind of stat checks you. Okay, I have to TP back here. Otherwise, he gets to just crash the wave and deny me minions. So I'll hold the wave here. Oh, no, I won't. Will I? I'll use my E. Skarner is not good. <laughs> Lots of people learning the champion right now. Stun and walk away. He's going to chase after us with E. Wow, I just lost my whole health bar. Under my tower, would you look at that. He still has such a massive XP lead on me. But yeah, he had a level lead there, so I couldn't really jump on him, sadly. So that's my bad, I shouldn't have jumped on him there. The abilities, they just come out, it's just spamming. Where's the skill in this? He just spams abilities, Q, W, Q, W, Q, W. The shield had just worn, has ju had just worn off, dude, wow. Okay, that's a really good trade for us. That is actually lane recovering, because we were in such a bad spot there. Run, 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 get away, go, go stiff, go stiff. Oh, okay, get go stiffed. We need to be ready. I'm gonna stay recall on the edge of this bush actually, so I can ward hop in case Skarner chases. An ally has been slain. I'm ready for him. Okay. Hmm, I'm considering whether I should get Ionian boots to be able to space in this matchup better. Phase Fade should do well enough. Phage longsword boots should be good enough. Get wrecked indeed, dude. Okay, so that's really good for us. Getting the Yone there? While getting ganked is such a disaster for them because that wastes the Skarner's time and not only does it waste his time I can't I can't defend your blue buff. I'm sorry. That's just too massive of a wave Not only does it waste his time, but we get the kill anyway, right? Okay, Skarn is both side. We see him there. Hey, this guy doesn't have E up. Wow. Whoa, his W does that much damage. My bad. His W does that much damage. My bad. Through my E as well, because E reduces the damage you take by 25%, right? If his W doesn't kill me there, I kill him. Ah, oh, man. Dude, I swear. Wow. Fair enough, I guess. I mean, my bad, I guess. He got Berserker Grease, so he's full build. <laughs> Do we have mid-prior? Ari seems to be coming up, so we might be able to get the Void Grubs here. Are we splitting damage? It's just gonna heal up, yeah. Ward there, so that we can know if Yone is moving down. He is. Oh man.
Okay, cool. That works out well for us. Can't click on freaking minions because I was trying to read chat while farming at the same time. Wow, I'm such a multitasker, truly. But let me see. So let's get this wave in here. Actually, they're all mid lane, so I can actually just stay top lane and just take plates. Okay, I have Triforce. It's not going to change my recall if I take another plate here, so I should just recall right now. It's always like a 6 second CD. Yeah, once he gets enough attack speed, yeah. It, goes, it gets very low very quickly. Now I have to go back to play. Are you off to go play again? Alright, good luck, my dude. Let me go see. So, I need to... Hmm. I have Triforce, theoretically. Right? Theoretically, I have Triforce. I'm going to TP top lane here, actually. Otherwise, Yone is going to just shove the wave and take plates. He had two level lead on me, but I had Triforce, so it was kind of even. Let me slow push this wave and I'll hard shove the next one. Learned every weapon, vested every yeah, this matchup is just a whole lot of freaking playing around as E. If you can land the stun on him, maybe you can force the all in on him. But if you can't, if you land the E, then you have a much better chance of forcing the all in on him. Um, or winning the all in, I should say. But if you don't land the stun, or if he, he wins the all-in, then he can just kind of... Oh, he's got Kraken Slayer. Okay, now I have to respect again. I mean, I always had to respect. He just has a permanent 20,000 freaking minion or XP lead on me. Cripes, dude. No honey fruit even either. At least we get an extra plate, but I'm running out of mana. And he just permanently has that XP lead. Like, that XP lead is really screwing me over really badly. I can't take a proper trade because he just has a level lead on me all the time. Now, I would look to fight him here, but I don't have enough mana. I swear, if he comes back to lane now because the Honeyfruit spawned and he has like 20% of his 20 and he's got like 80% health, I'm going to lose it. Nah, no, dude, the W, the W, the W! Oh man, the W, the W, dude. That freaking W, it's just such a massive shield! Oh, my bad. My bad, my bad. That's my bad. I freaking... Ugh. It's always so hard, I swear. And this is with me having a freaking ability that blocks his damage for two seconds, dude. I swear this champion. He might be respawning over there. I mean, he might be recalling. Oh, she gets him, maybe? No, she's freaking dead. Sucks. I'll just run top lane here. She's dead here anyway, so... I'll just run top lane to catch the wave. Oh, man, okay. I, I really need to not be at a level deficit of him. Like, at some point in this game, please, I'm begging you. Like, this is ridiculous now. Like, the whole game, I've just been at a level deficit because of that first Skarner gank. That's the thing, I didn't even die to that Skarner gank, but because he decided to come top lane, I've just been at a deficit the whole game. Nah, dude. I mean, Skarner was just waiting for me, I guess. Oh, okay, this is getting really cringe now. I'm not allowed to do things. I'm just not allowed to do things this game, I guess. Oh, yo, 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 yeah. Not allowed to shove up a wave because Skarn is just waiting for me. What is this? Ah. Oh. 
Oh man, uh, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. Bot lane's getting shoved in. Top lane's getting shoved in. Like, I, I. Okay, what do I need to do here? So, let's look at items. Kraken Slayer, he probably has a second item here. Uh, wow, we just keep fighting until we eventually die, I guess. Well, Kaiser needs to try to make it out of there. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to try to now very aggressively just freaking at least draw Yone to the side lane, but like, I'm not allowed to do that because Skarner's just gonna be waiting for me. I'm gonna try to shove this wave before Skarner gets up here. But we'll see if that actually plays out. No, there's no way Yone's up here without Skarner. I'm just going to leave. There's no point. I'm just gonna leave. You go Rabbit Shadow Flame or Rabbit on certain AP Jacks? I mean, I feel like. Uh, freaking, what's his name? I feel like... Shadow Flame if they're gonna build lifeline items, otherwise Rabidon, I guess? Wow, if he killed me there, I would've lost it. I swear I would've lost it if he killed me there. He had no E for that fight. The fact that he has no E and he almost wins that is crazy. I guess he... But no, he can just R your E. There's not really anything you can do about that, so... There's not really any counterplay. If I don't body block his E... I mean, if I don't blow body block his R while I am Eing, then he's just going to get away, so... No, it's unavoidable. He can just outplay... That's the thing. Yone has two ways to outplay your E, right? He has his E and his R. So even if he messes one up, then the other one he just kites. And the other one he just kites with is what I should do, is what I mean to say. At least we got the shutdown there though, so good stuff. Now we get the Ravenous Hydra here. And we're getting some shutdowns mid lane, good stuff. Uh oh. Did they win that anyway? No, they don't. She gets CC locked to death here. I can TP in here, actually. Okay, they didn't need me. I or no, they do, because I will come over here and mess with the Yone. Do I have more movement speed than he does? I do. Okay, I need a little bit more gold. No, please, I need a little bit more gold. No! Ah! Well, I guess I'm staying then. We go for Gromp or something. I can't push the tower because somebody should come stop me. Nobody's coming to catch the wave, which is very strange, but they should be. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so, off to bot lane we go. Uh, can I handle Cassiopeia? Is a real question. I'm so far behind in XP. Like, I really need to fix that. I'm gonna force Cassiopeia to stay down here, actually. I'm just gonna push very hard here. Going Rod second is very strange. I'm kind of scared because I don't know... Okay, I didn't know which bush she... If she was in a bush, right? Because if she's in a bush, then she might just one-shot me. So we're 4v4 down here. And I'm going to keep the pressure on so that if she decides to TP to the fight... I'm just going to one-shot the tower. Okay. I was... I'm thinking maybe I want to go up to the... Wait, he just goes through the wall again? Wait, I swear he just used it, didn't he? Didn't he? 
where he just used it. Oh, well, whatever. I don't go Sundered Sky second anymore. No, no, no. I prefer Ravenous Hydra. I feel like Sundered Sky does too little damage. As a second item, at least. Fourth, I like to go it still. But second, I feel like it just um, murders your damage a little bit too much. And also, Ravenous Hydra just gives you so much macro power, right? So much wave clear, so much sustain. Or Hydra items in general. I'm gonna come in here and just chunk the tower a little bit. Just make them respect me. Soften it up a little bit. Just show them why I am... Why they are coming to match me. But it seems that... They're still just going mid lane. I guess with... I guess they just have Cass holding me. Fair enough. I have TP in case the Baron play needs to... and In case I need to go to Baron. So what I will do here is just take camps. Actually, I can't take this camp because then that wave is going to push too far away and I'll have to run all the way down here to come fetch it, which is going to murder my tempo. So instead what I'll do is I'll shove this wave and then I'll take another camp. One wave, one camp. One wave, one camp. See, now she has to handle the wave again, and now I get to... One, have vision here, but two, take a blue buff. While I take this blue buff, I have the vision there. We seem to be caught over here. And we're just accelerating ourselves a little bit, you know? I mean, that fight looks very scuffed. I don't really want to TP to that. We are a little bit caught there, though. Not ideal. She's wasting their time. That's not bad, actually. An ally has been slain. If he jacks out scales AD jacks, I don't agree with that. I think it depends on the game, maybe, but even then, I think AD jacks. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh man, are they just going to take Baron here? They kind of are, aren't they? The thing is, they're all alive. I mean, if I TP, then she's going to TP. Like, kind of sucks, no? Stalling them, Cassiopeia has TP'd. Yeah, Yone just gets to do that for free. Wait, what are you doing, Ari? See how we push in here, we are a bit uh, chucked out, though. Run! Okay, huge. Uh, maybe we can do Baron here. We got in there, we got- we landed the- was it a 3 or 4 man stun? But yeah, that's it, opened it up. I was willing to die there for- to secure that 3 or 4 man stun to open up the op to create the opening for my Kai'Sa to maybe kill them all. But then I didn't die, and then we got to flee. So huge. There we go, now we're back. And we're floating so much gold, so we just get to buy our whole Sterex into whole Sundered Sky here. Or not whole Sundered Sky, just whole Sterex into um, work towards our Sundered Sky. Oh man, okay. A little bit of actual gameplay there, huge. Mostly just holding Cassiopeia in the side lane the whole game. While we make small leads with our far, with our, you know, jungle camp stealing. But okay, there we go, I'm not behind in levels anymore, poggers, dude!
actually sick. No, they're long gone. They're gone already. Oi. Maybe I can grab this camp here. Oh, that's very nice. Getting a free camp there, very nice. I don't want to take this blast cone because I want to use it to escape, maybe. Can I fight the Cassiopeia? Should be able to, theoretically speaking. No, I'm turning around! Wait, hold on. I was turned around and I was stunned. What is that, dude? What a scam. I just got scammed right there. Wow. I'm so glad somebody found Yone's TP and freaking damaged him, though. Man, if Skarner had ult there, that could have been ugly. My bad, I wasn't paying attention to the um, positionings of the enemy team. Oh no, she got stunned. I'm gonna one-shot this tower if they don't come match me right now, though. Yeah, at this point, I am a little bit too far ahead, so now we are on the other side of it. Oh, here he comes. Go away, Skarner, I swear, dude. Okay, good stuff. 